Officials say text messages between those two suspects revealed they were obsessed with this little boy and that the pair had allegedly tried to take the child three times before. Our South Bay reporter Jesse Gary has been following the case since the kidnapping last month. He's live there outside the Hall of Justice with the latest information. Jesse. Mike, this was supposed to be a bail hearing for suspects Ramirez and Portillo, but prosecutors instead leveled three additional charges for attempting attempted kidnapping, stretching back to when baby Brandon was just a few weeks old. It's absolutely shocking. This is, I think, any parent's worst nightmare. During court proceedings Thursday in San Jose, Santa Clara County prosecutors slapped Yesenia Ramirez and Jose Patillo with three more counts of attempted kidnapping. There's a difference between allegations and facts. Uh, we have allegations right now. The actual substantive evidence that uh, would presumably underlie these charges has not been provided. The newly alleged crimes occurred before the pair was caught and charged with the April 24th kidnapping of three-month-old baby Brandon Doe. San Jose police evidence from text messages show the pair had tried to carry out the crime at least three times starting in March. In one instance, Portillo went to the child's home posing as a child protective services worker, but he left when the family didn't turn the baby over. There have been multiple attempts to kidnap Brandon Doe since the beginning of March and that they have been planning, coordinating and attempting to kidnap him since the beginning of March. The pair ultimately did kidnap the child, touching off a near 20 hour search in late April. The baby was found at a home near Regional Medical Center and returned to his mother. Investigators say Ramirez orchestrated the plan and Patillo is the person seen in surveillance video walking off with the infant. My client's terrified. I mean, she's sitting in jail. She's held uh, in no bail status. She doesn't even have the opportunity to post bail. We are at the district attorney's office determined to seek justice for Brandon Doe as well as on behalf of the community. There will be a plea hearing on June the 7th. The defense could raise the issue of, of bail again at that time or put it off until a later date. As it stands right now, both defendants being held without bail. We're live outside the Hall of Justice here in San Jose. Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News. We'll head back to you up in Oakland. Yeah, Jesse, indeed disturbing details revealed today. Thank you. Well, the same